That leaves me with one more bit of news. I know that they're all assuming that that's Brooke underneath that piece of paper, but it's not. I always have a trick up my sleeve. I'm bringing in another member, a strong dancer, that can go up against our bully. We were looking for one person. Fine or spot, solo, duet, anything. Give her something. Please welcome Peyton. <laughs> My name is Peyton. I'm 14 years old, and I've been dancing at Abby's for about four years. <laughs> Not everybody's able to make Abby Lee Dance Company's competition group, so for me to be a part of it, I was so excited. OK, girls, enough. Come on, come on. What is Peyton doing here? She's going to come in and try to take this spot right out from under Kendall. I hate this whole idea. Peyton, you finally have a place, but you need to prove yourself. You are on probation. You are the new kid on the block. It's a whole new ball game. Without Brooke, there is only one spot open on this competition team. Kendall and Peyton both want that spot. Peyton's working out fine. She, again, is a natural born leader, so she's taking the place of Brooke rather well. She counts the music, she gets it. Her and Maddie have worked together before, so they're doing some partner work. That is amazing, because they're all different ages, but they're all same height. And then we got Big Peyton. My name is Leslie, and I've been at Abby's for four years. I just really hope that Peyton doesn't look too big. I don't understand why Peyton is back in the picture. Peyton's too big. She's going to stand out like a sore thumb. Now, Kendall fits right into this group. Call me bias. I'm her mother. I, I think she's the better dancer. I'm going to say she's a better dancer than Kendall in this style. I do understand that Jill would be uncomfortable. I'm going to let her know that I think Peyton should be on this team and not her daughter. I've put more time in than she has. I think Peyton being picked to be showcased as the bully and the lead. But she got that by was, default. Well, Jill, they could have given it to Kendall, but no, they gave it to Peyton, and I think Abby made the right choice. I don't know Jill well enough to guesstimate how she's going to handle Leslie. But I do know Leslie, and I'll tell you what, Jill better get her own baseball bat out. She originally picked Kendall over Peyton to dance with this group, and my fear is now that we need an extra, she's putting Peyton in. Originally, she didn't want Peyton. There had to be, have been a reason behind it, and I hope that doesn't hurt the group in the long run. That's all. So, I know she's a good dancer. Then why I know do you the think number she just picked be. a put in it when they could have picked somebody else? Because you reamed her out and said, you better find a spot and for who her. who am I? Who am I? What, why does my, why is my word gold? You said before you had Abby's ear, and I actually I do commend you on that. That's exactly why. We'll see. I, I'm a little concerned right now about Leslie because I know at the open audition, she had a blowout with Abby, and I know that she asked Abby to do whatever she had to do to get Peyton on with this dance team. Put that big bully in there. <laughs> <laughs> Kick like some other guy. daughter. <laughs> She's a big bully, not just a bully. More person to watch. Everybody up on the runway, go. When Abby walks in with those costumes, all I'm thinking is this is like Prostitutes the sequel. As a mom, I'm saying like bare midriffs yep. and, and fishnets. fishnets. And school girls. It, right, it's just, My, it's I, over the top. Well, I like fishnets. I think they're cute, but I not do. with this. I don't get the holes in the, in the tights. You don't need to get it. You're not judging. Okay, don't well, worry about it. You have to understand, Leslie, I'm going with Peyton as the bully. She's older. She would be like the trashy, mean, bad girl that's up to no good at Catholic school. That's what I'm going for. Bully and bad girl is different from trashy, Abby. Trashy Judges. means sleazy, slutty. She's, no, I, she's I, 14. I, she's not, that's not what she's portraying, a bully. Not some sleaze in some strip joint. I don't care what any of those moms say. It's my studio. It's my company, and they needed something cutting edge for this routine. I want the number it. to be good because I've got a lot at stake here. So, Abby, whatever you think is going to make the and number. OK, what about well, the decision made. made. I am telling you girls this. I am sick and tired of talking to your mothers. Knee socks, no fishnets, red trunks, bare midriffs. Everybody understand. OK, Melissa, Maddie is going to wear her hair in two ponytails. 
so the kick me sign goes in the middle. When you do those ponytails, I want them way up here. I don't want her hair getting caught in the side. Okay, thank you. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Does everyone have their socks taped? Yeah. Yes. I find it with us. What color is Jazz shoes, black? Did you really ask that, Jill? She has black socks on. Well, what color would you wear? Once again, we're in the green room, and, like, nothing's right. There's no time to rehearse. The girls aren't ready. Maddie's pigtails are all askew. It's mayhem. OK, now I'm marking it. You forgot it? You're kidding me. Thank gosh we're running through it. Come on, Paige, you want to start with Leslie, were you a dance teacher in your past life? No, why? Because you tell her what to do. She's 14. I'm allowed to no, talk I to my daughter. No, I just think that you're treating her like a baby. I'm not treating humiliating. her like a baby. I'm her mother, and she's my daughter, and she's dancing. I'm reiterating what you tell her all the time. If you don't yell it yet, you're never going to know it. Got it? Not five minutes before you go on. I don't think it's fair that Abby yells at the parents just because the parents know what to do. Their moms, for a reason, they're helping us. So I don't think that if she's not in the conversation, don't join the conversation. It wasn't meant for you. Let's go. We have to be ready. We're on one number. Let's go. They have to know the number. Why don't you let them finish running it? If it goes on and we miss it, then it doesn't matter if they know it or not. What's the difference? It doesn't make a difference if they go on stage and it it'll doesn't make holes. a difference. And let, let, the the holes, let them run Always. the number. If we don't get Leslie, there in time, it doesn't matter here. if they know it or not. What's the difference? We got to go. Let's you know go. what, Leslie? We've been doing this every single weekend. It will be fine. You're the new man on the I understand. But Don't guess what? Are they going to hold it for us? Probably not for Leslie Ackerman. Maybe for Abby Lee Miller. Okay. Okay. It's my name, my reputation, not yours. It's their names too. Exactly. You keep saying it's only you, but these kids are all the ones on the stage. Right, Christy. They're Abby Lee's kids. But they're Chloe and Mia and Maddie and Peyton. And Abby's sitting there barking at these girls. It's my name. It's my name. And for God's sakes, we are so tired of hearing it's your name. It's not. When Chloe stands on stage, people are looking at Chloe. When Maddie's on stage, they're looking at Maddie and Nia. Yes, they dance under Abby's studio, but ultimately, they're the ones on stage. Hey, you your money. She just stole it. Don't you say that to my daughter! Look the way after you act! Be a role model! I am a role model, Abby. You're the worst role model here. This is act number 34, and what comes around. <laughs> started, Peyton and Maddie come downstage, and Peyton takes a kick me sign and puts it on her back. Maddie's ponytails were kind of in the way, and Peyton put it up too high. So instead of enjoying the number, we're all looking at Maddie's back to see if the sign's going to stay on. And I was cringing. What goes up must come down. to watch these girls dance. I totally enjoy the group numbers. However, this one didn't stick with me too much. It didn't stand out much. The only thing that stood out in my mind was Peyton because she was eight feet taller than all the other kids. And I'm not sure she pulled off the bully role very well. What do you think your critique's gonna be? Look, look. Better than Kendall? I thought she did better than Kendall, too. Thanks. I think you'll be getting that sweatsuit. Peyton, you almost screwed the whole entire dance up with the sign. You can't just like wait, stick whoa, 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 whoa. it. No, no, whoa, whoa, me. You have no, to make sure it's on there. Have her daughter's ponytails up high enough. Why are you gonna say Peyton did? Well, well, yeah, but she has to correct what no, she's screwed Abby, up. No, Abby, it starts from the beginning. And did it you just say no, Abby? No, Abby. I thought she did fabulous. Right, and you're not a dance teacher. Hey, you tell me how you thought she did. I thought she was okay. I think your turns, suit new, never crossed your thighs once. You need to fix that turnout. I thought that I was better than most of the people for You all thought you were better than most of the people in this group? Wise. Oh, that's cocky. But that's how I feel, performance-wise. Oh. 
I was appalled. I cannot believe that a 14-year-old young adult would open her mouth and act like that in a room full of amazing dancers. Did you see everyone else dancing? That's how I felt. Of course she thought she did great. You know, every kid and every dancer that gets out on that stage thinks they are the best dancer. And they think it, they just don't say it. And you know, Peyton being coerced, she said it. We have a really nice camaraderie amongst the girls here, but we don't critique each other. I ask you how you felt about you, not in comparison to everyone else, just about your performance. So everybody was perfect but Peyton? No. You didn't critique one other person? I don't need to. Peyton did for me. <laughs> I don't think there is an apology to give to the group. She said it, it's out there, and it was wrong, and it was bad. It will take years to regain their trust. These are her friends. These are her comrades. This is her team. She shouldn't belittle others. That's my job. Second place goes to I Love Rock and Roll. Oh, this is us. Goes to Backpack Girls. Nice job. The group dance also did not win their category. I thought for sure, with the level of difficulty, that they were gonna win that, and they didn't. So either the judges didn't get it, maybe they thought it was inappropriate, I don't know. So, Peyton, how about that overinflated ego, huh? This group's been winning, 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 winning. Do you think they lost because of her? I don't know, I don't know. I'll have to read the judges' comments and listen to the critiques and see what they said. Well, is she gonna be able to dance with the team again? I don't know. I don't think what she did on stage really is what my concern is. It was coming back to the dressing room and saying that she was fabulous no, and everybody you, else You know what? You flustered her. She didn't mean it like that. You're, you're talking to a 14-year-old. If you want to fight with I know. somebody, then you I mean, fight with me, her mother. I, it's not I about fighting, her. Leslie. If you can't say anything nice, don't say anything at all. But it's different. People are paying me for my opinion. So you are still on probation. You know, Peyton's sassy little mouth may have just ruined her chances of getting off probation, maybe even getting on this competition team. Abby's really mad at Peyton. Why? Because of the way it came out when Peyton was talking about the rest of the group dance right. and her performance in comparison to everyone else. I, I will speak for myself. I took it the same way that Abby said it. Wait, wait, and then she apologized and then you're still saying this to me? Um, you didn't let me finish my comments. Well, because I'm pissed off, that's why. Thanks. You don't accept apologies from a 14-year-old? I did accept her apology. conversation with me. But wait, no, no, there's no, 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 a lot no. of enabling no, no, no. going on. Somebody shut you down, and you can't You're handle it. You're not shutting me down, Yes, Leslie. I did. Ladies, I'm standing outside with a dance teacher that's a friend of mine, and I can hear every word you're saying. I'm still upset, Abby. I know, but Leslie, you know what? Your daughter's 14 years old. You say that she's a grown-up, she's this, she's that. She has a smart mouth on her. You need to dig your fingernails into her mouth and tell her to wait, shut her mouth. Okay, stop. Did you not put her on the spot that got her to, to that point where she said something wrong and apologized to you? You did not put her on this team because of her comment. Is that what, that's what I want to know. Yes. Then that's a shame. Shame on you, and I hope you feel no better. No shame on me. Lay your head down on your pillow. Don't shame on me. You're gonna kick her off to the curb? You don't walk into a dressing room with a whole group of people and say, I was fabulous and you all weren't. It's ridiculous. No, you picked, you let her daughter you know off the You don't why. need to be here. You said you can find a dance to put her in. I did. If Peyton wouldn't have been in that, that would have been Chloe's fault. Yep. She came in here and had this snotty little attitude and you back her up. I don't think you guys have to put up with me much longer. I'll be gone. This will be it. Chloe, you beat Cameron. Me and Kendall shouldn't be too hard. Abby, uh, wait a minute. Sarah's the only one in this room that is coming off of week after week, winning after winning. And no. she was on the top of the pyramid last week. She deserved to be week first after runner week? this week. Because I just don't understand. Keep it up. No. Sarah. You don't need to be here on the pyramid. You don't need to be here at all. Why? She is part of this company. It is not fair. It's I not right. I will bench Sarah from the group routine if you keep it up. You don't get it. You're the bus that is running over your daughter's chances every time you're here on this team. Sarah's a great kid. We don't have a problem with her. 
It's you. Moms, go head upstairs. Girls spread apart. We have a lot to get finished. Let's go. Balance, say, balance, say, lost balance, say. The group routine is definitely a character piece. Gypsies, tramps, and thieves. Picture yourself at a carnival, and you see the tent, and inside is the fortune teller, and she has a crystal ball. That's what I want the judges to see when the kids take the stage. We need to be mysterious. You know, the veil is over the head. You need to set the tone for the piece. You have to be Maddie. She's mesmerizing. Well, we can agree that she puts one kid on a pedestal and that one kid is not present. It's so clear to anyone that Abby is grooming Maddie for any opportunity that comes their way. Where the rest of the girls, she's like, oh, pff, whatever. If any of our girls had been given the opportunity to do the music video that Maddie did, they would have been amazing too. They're just not given the chance. Maybe once they put the costumes on, they will be able to have more fun with it and get into the character. Yeah. Sometimes you I need the, the costume. <gasps> Look, I love that. Opening up a little package is like Christmas. Sarah, you don't have a costume. We're trying to get another one made. You weren't supposed to be in the group. It was just the original five, and I kept you, and that's the problem. This is not right. All right, call your moms. Get them down here. Come on, let's go, let's go. These are gorgeous. You like them? Love them. Abby. There better be a costume. She better be in the number. That's all I have to say. It's not fair, Abby. Life is not fair. Obviously, in the Abby Lee Dance Company, it's not fair. But let's get the story straight. Sarah is not in the Junior Elite competition team. So when I ordered the costumes, I didn't have one made for her. So lo and behold, I'm able to get her one. It should get here. And if it doesn't, she'll go away with us. She'll go to the competition. She'll live. She'll learn. That itself is an education. It's the world according to Abby. It's Unfortunately, Abby, you're not God, so it's not the world according to Abby. Well, in this studio, guess what? Guess what? You know what my thoughts are on that? I think this studio needs revamped, and I think the garbage needs to be taken out, and I think that starts with you. OK, Sarah, you're finished. Goodbye. I am not going to put up with any parent coming in here calling me a name. It's never the kid's fault, but somehow the kid always ends up paying for the parents' mistakes. Can I please be in the number If you can go by yourself on the bus, then you can go, all right? Sarah is so upset, and at this point, I really don't know what to say to her. I can't do it. I couldn't give Sarah over. She is homeschooled, she has been with us since birth. I can't just trust the fact that they're going to take care of her. You know, and I can, honey. I can't let you go. I can't stand Christy. However, I would take Sarah on the bus and take her under my wing. I think that she's holding Sarah back. If I would have done that with my kids and held their hand every inch of the way, they would have never gotten this far. She's just not okay. You're nine years old. Kids okay. go away with me when they're like seven and eight by themselves. You'll be fine. You're gonna be with the kids. We're gonna get off. We're gonna eat dinner. We're gonna maybe go to a movie or something. Or you're gonna go to bed and get ready for the competition. She doesn't want to go. She just yeah. drive herself. It's a real shame. Sarah could be a great dancer. Hopefully, her mother will realize that she needs to let the child become independent and let her grow as a dancer. Because right now, I'm finished with Sarah. I'm sorry, honey. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna just keep doing this group. Let me work on the acting. Let's do a few things. All right, let's go. Turn that right foot out harder when you, right when you turn around. Bigger hands when they come up off the floor, Brady. More legs. Not so heavy with the heels. There's really high stakes this week. Well, if, if they do lose, it's not because of my daughter. The only new element this week is your kids. OK, so when y'all lost y'all last group dance, who fault was that? Who fault was it? When y'all didn't get first place, who fault was it? The judges. Oh. <laughs> All right, it's great. Should we have Paris and Berkeley do it themselves? Oh, boy, now she's, she's making them do it by herself. Can't ride their coattails anymore. 
We only have three weeks until nationals, and I'm replacing Eliana. So now, I'm seriously considering adding Paris, who is a fabulous turner, or Berkeley. She's extremely flexible. I'm looking for that kid who blends well with the other kids. There's only one more spot on this team, Paris and Berkeley. This is your chance to prove yourself. That's what I need to see. All that rolling around was just there. It was all right there. It's oh, what fair. was that? Oh, I don't think Berkeley knows the combo. Oh my god, you guys, I'm actually having like a little panic attack. They, they don't know the none counts. of the dance together. They don't know the counts. Did did your kids go home and practice? Yeah. My daughter practiced 24-7. Okay. Judges on the critiques quickly. Lily. We need to make a lot more eye contact with the judges, and you're making no facial expressions. Giannina. You guys are second guessing yourself like a lot, and Berkeley, you're watching Paris in the mirror. The timing was definitely different because you guys weren't together. How in the world are we supposed to win? Tomorrow. We're on the stage tomorrow, guys. Tomorrow. What scares me is we've got two kids that have never even put a dance on stage that they've only just learned. We don't even know how these kids react under pressure. What are we supposed to do? We really need to win this time because not only Miss Abby is having a tough time with her friend Dee, I think we need to show her that we can win so that she can be happy. And also, we have Paris and Berkeley with us. It's one thing to be auditioning for the ALDC, but you really have to step it up if you're going to be on stage representing the ALDC. What they have to do is blend with the group dance, and whoever does better at that will stay. Well, I have good news and bad news. I'm leaving now. Right, like right now? Right now. I am going to the airport to fly to Los Angeles. I did receive a message that said, come. It's come now. Dee was there in the hospital with me the night I almost died, and now I cannot believe that it's been a year, and we're talking about a similar life or death situation with my dear friend. It's crazy. Abby? likes to put on this front that she's actually tough as nails. So to see her break down like this kind of makes her human. What Karen said is if anybody can wake her up, it's you. She said if you just come in and start screaming and yell at her, she'll probably react. So I have to go. I have to try. I stayed as long as I could, but now I'm getting on a flight you know, right now, so I'm not gonna be able to stay to see the group routine. I hope the parents and everyone understand. All right, I'm counting on you guys. Goodbye. Strong, strong. All right, I see, I love you, thank I love you, I'm you. sorry. Safe. I'm positive that I'm gonna go out there, I'm gonna start, you know, cracking heads, gonna make some heads roll, and I'm gonna start screaming and yelling, and she's gonna hear my voice, and it's gonna bring her to. Let me just see the dance, because yeah. yesterday we were in like kind of a crazy place with the two new kids. All right, guys, here we go. Get far enough out on the stage. All the way across, don't cut it short. Okay, Paris, that's not gonna happen. Two, three. Get them out, get them out. They should already be out. Why are we still doing the wrong dance? They still don't know the timing. Like, it's still off. They do a part with Giannina, and it's like three solos right now. Well, now's not the time to have any mistakes, though. I'm saying, like... Gia, what's the choreography? Can you do it with them? Up, step, kick, ball, kick. That's not together right now. Okay. Right. Oh, my God. Are we going to win? Are we going to place? I don't even have words. I've never been this terrified. We're going on stage in a few minutes. These are not problems that we should be having right now. This is where the group comes back together on this kick. It's on count eight. But I said that on Wednesday. It's now Saturday. Six, ball, two. You guys are still off the timing. Your daughter's crying. I know that. I mean, everybody's jumping on her back. Of course, I would cry too. I mean, this team is a ball of pressure. This is what happens. Tell me why you upset. Because the moms keep pressuring me to do it right, but I feel like that if it just keeps calm, I can just start well, well, doing it I right. Mean, Paris, you just go out there and you, and you give your best. That's what you do. You was here. They told you to be here. They give you corrections. You take it. You go on stage and you perform it. I think my daughter still has a really high chance of making the team because I just feel like Paris's mom is overwhelmed and her daughter's not going to be able to handle the pressure. And if one correction 
is gonna make her daughter cry. Maybe it's not the right time for her. So Lily and Brady, hold this down for me on the parts that you do separate. On the parts that are together, watch the people in front of you, okay? That's what we're going with. Let's do this, guys. And let's do it for D as well. Please. I'm not used to this kind of pressure. And I feel like that they're all screaming gets me pressured up to where I can't do good. I think I can pull it off. I just have to stay calm. We cannot afford to lose this week or any weeks between now and nationals. But this group dance, we've got two kids in the dance that don't know what they're doing that were auditioning for our team, and Abby left before she even told us if they're on the team or not. Sounds like first place to me. I didn't let the nerves get to me. I felt like I did my best that I could. That was definitely the best time we've ever done the dance. If Miss Abby was here, I think that she would say that I did amazing and that my timing was correct. In our junior groups, second and first place are divided by 0.5, less than one point. Ladies and gentlemen, in second place, with a 298.2. Bad Royal Nova. And our top junior group. Seven oh three, the chosen one. Who's your choreographer? Abby Lincoln Company. Woo! Thank God. We made it, we got first place, even with the two new kids. Good job, guys! Congrats, congrats, it's been a minute since we won, so that's huge for us right now, all right? Kids, I wanna get you guys cleaned up and out of these costumes. I don't want any of this dirt on your face anymore. I want you to look cute again, so let's go. <laughs> Thankfully, the chosen one won, but Abby's not even here to pick one, and who knows when she's even coming back. I feel like this is a moment to plead our case. I mean, my kid worked really hard in your group dance. I think that my kid would be a wonderful asset to your team. I just want to say thank you for allowing my daughter 
I know y'all probably didn't want us to come here, but she came. She loved it. She wants to be an Abby Lee girl. No, she's not perfect. Yes, she needed to work on her feet, but Paris is determined to do that. I mean, the kid took the heat today, got very upset, went off stage and performed. But it's really not up to us, guys. We don't know what's going on. There's a lot of unanswered questions, loose ends, new people here. We don't even know if they're on the team. Abby never made a decision about that. We are three weeks away from nationals. We don't have time to figure it out. Ladies, last week we went to a competition in Fort Wayne, Indiana. There were over a thousand people there just to see the Abby Lee Dance Company. While you all were out in the parking lot, Sophia was in here learning. As you can clearly see, we don't have a pyramid here. Chloe, Nia, Maddie, Mackenzie, Kendall, you all realize, with the exception of Sophia, that you are on probation. You are all on the same playing field. Abby chooses one kid in the studio that she focuses on. Now Maddie did something to piss Abby off, and now she's moving on to somebody else. That's what all of you wanted. You didn't like the pyramid, moms. You want all the kids to be treated equal. That's what you got. Chloe's worked her butt off for Abby, and she won a national title. And now Abby's going to replace her with some girl off the street? Jackie, you're OK with your kid being a winner. I know that I can count on her, that she's a team player. And Jackie, I watched you in the dressing room. I watched you help everybody with their hair. I watched you be kind to all the other women. And I appreciate that. Jackie seems like she's this perfect mom, but I've heard a lot of things about her. And I don't know, she doesn't seem so perfect. This week, we are going to Ohio. The group routine is called Red Carpet Special. It's a really sassy, hot, funky number. Sophia, you are doing a solo called Superstar. I think you did an outstanding job last week, and I want to see a repeat of the same thing. It is not fair that Sophia gets a solo this week. Our girls work their butts off, and they die for solos every week. How many turns do you do? 54. Why do I want somebody that can only do 53? I would prefer not to take any other solos, but I committed to attend the competition, so we're going. Not one of these kids deserves a solo, but I have no choice. So I'm going to take my national champion and see how much she's regressed. My next solo will be Chloe. It's contemporary. You are the national title holder. And you want to keep it up, then you have to keep winning. Surprise, surprise, Abby gives Chloe a solo, not as a reward, but as a punishment, because she's going to make her dance against Sophia. The sonic sounds. I'll be dancing on the floor. This number is jam-packed full of difficulty. And Sophia uses that face, she uses that style, she hits every accent in the music. Really have to stretch that knee, feel like I'm pulling it. It's kind of hard not to be jealous of her when I watch her because even though she's my age, she can do 54 turns and I can't. So do you get up every morning and do the stretches before she goes to school? No, she goes home school. I know, but you take her to school. I do, yeah. Right now, we're going Mondays and Fridays. Oh, that's so all you have to go to school? Two days? Between two to four, yeah. You're killing me over here. <laughs> She's a teacher. Yeah. the educator. I know. She's gonna... I will make sure we have at least two hours before we go to dance. So like, if she goes to school from 9 to 11, then I'll get her home by 11.30, and then she stretches from 11.30 to 1.30, and we'll have a 2 o'clock rehearsal every day. Sophia only goes to school two hours a week. Our girls actually go to school full time, and then they come to dance. It's kind of sad. Thanks for doing your turns for us. Yeah. I appreciate it. I'm really serious. I think that I'm going to ask you and your mom if you could do a senior company turn class. When I, uh, sometimes I'll teach the little kids that are senior. And I'm really mean to them. You're really mean? Yeah. I like mean. <laughs> I'm really mean, too. <laughs> the days are shorter. She's choreographing, again, 30 minutes before we get I, I did not realize that. I yeah. thought it was finished. Uh, that gives me anxiety. No, no, we learn them the day we leave. Well, In this case. My daughter's learning uh, her solo, and we're going to get on a bus. It's not three days before. It's the day yeah. up. 
Abby is clearly setting Chloe up to fail. She knows that none of the girls on our team are even at the same level as Sophia. Shoulders down. My daughter looks defeated. Why is she, do you think she's upset? Yeah, I know she is. Look at her, she's yep. trying. She's fighting it. I'm feeling pressure to go up against Sophia since she's a very good dancer. Now I feel like I have to work especially hard so that I don't let down the group. Hey, look at her legs. Took what out on you? I you didn't count pictures. No. She was like yelling at me, and I was like, I didn't do anything. So I'm sorry that you get the brunt. I'm sorry that all of you guys get the brunt of it. You don't deserve it, you're little girls. I am sorry that Abby takes out her anger with me on you. That's not fair. Abby, I hate to break it to you, but if you really have a problem with us not doing all your little tasks, you need to come to us and stop sending messages to our children. Listen, those kids recognize you because you are national champions. Do you understand that? If you were the losers, I don't think a thousand people would be downstairs to get your autograph and your picture. This team needs to get right back to that same exact place when they won the national championship. Sophia, come on, get out of here. Hopefully, all eyes will be on Sophia. Everybody wants to be a superstar. Everybody wants to be Sophia. Abby is rehearsing Sophia, while Chloe, who is Abby's student, is in the corner rehearsing on her own. Two, three. Oh my God. Illusion, illusion. All right, just, you've been here, what? Two weeks, and I'm already getting phone calls. Hey, I heard you have this kid, da 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 All right? So be that superstar. Step out there and own that stage. Got it? This is a really strange competition for us because Abby's really not paying attention to any of our children. All right. OK. Everybody ready? Game faces. <laughs> Sophia is about to walk out on stage. And I hope these judges have their eyes up and they're focused on her. This is Sophia with Superstar. S C P R S T R, let's party like a superstar. S S C P R S T R, oh oh, you are a superstar. S C P R S T R, let's party like a superstar. S S C P R S T R, oh oh, you are a superstar. S C P R S T R, let's party like a superstar. S S C P R S T R, oh oh, you are a superstar. Hey, Mr. DJ, when you play this at the club, don't forget to turn the bass up on the supersonic sound. If Abby so desperately wants Sophia to be part of this team, you know, she shouldn't have Chloe dancing immediately following her. Hitting children against one another isn't exactly, you know, team building tactics. All right, coming to the stage next, this is Chloe with another girl. judges are watching Chloe dance, they see the emotion. And that is something that Sophia doesn't have.
did pretty well. If she didn't sit on her butt all week, she might have been good. Good job. Nice job. Yeah. Good job, Sophie. Good job. Here, come sit up here by me. Can you let me down? No, Chloe, you never let me down. I'm just proud of you. You know? You win some, you lose some. No biggie. You're amazing, OK? Don't go. No matter what Abby says, you keep your chin up. Chloe dances, she's telling a story, and she opens her heart, and she draws you in. And I think that that sincerity is why people like to watch Chloe dance. Very good. Thank you. Excellent. Yes? First of all, the director of the competition and everything are freaking out about you. And they are just going insane. The Glee said before the straddle. You know exactly what I'm talking about? OK, and you're going to fix it? OK, that's it. Otherwise, great performer. And she is smart enough, she knows when she's fallen out of a turn, to get out of it and move on, not to ever let us see a bobble. How dare you, Abby, after my little girl just went out there and danced her heart out for you? Fourth place with a score of 277 points is Miss Delaney with act number 28, Move Your Feet. Your second runner-up, ladies and gentlemen, with a score of 281.3 points is Miss Chloe with act number 25, Another Girl. I'm a little surprised Chloe got second runner-up. I thought she was beautiful and elegant on stage, but considering that Abby only paid attention to Sophia this week, I'm really proud of Chloe. Highest scoring elite junior soloist with a score of 284.1 points is Miss Sophia with act number 18, Superstar. There was no doubt in my mind that Sophia would win this whole thing. If the dance team wants to beat somebody like Sophia, they better get busy. OK, so the judges selected routines that they just really loved from the day. Hi, everybody. There's something so humble and heartwarming about this dancer. And I hope she never, ever, ever loses it, because it's very, very special. This is to another girl, Chloe. One judge specifically gave me an Expressive Heart Award, and that was something really special, and it was a really good moment for me. My job as a mom is to raise someone that I not only love, but I like, and I really like the person that Chloe is. To me, that's more important than any first place trophy ever. Sophia, outstanding. High score of the entire competition. All right, Chloe, hot mess. Flexibility is getting worse instead of better. What were you balancing? Where was the balance? I've never seen you that off on your turns. Well, you know what, Abby? That's a reflection of you, because Chloe has been your student since she was two years old. Sophia walked in off the street from someone else two weeks ago. You're not her teacher. You're not stretching her every day. I pay you for her to go to class and stretch. You know how sometimes your child takes math at school, but they need a tutor for extra math? Chloe needs extra flexibility at home. Why haven't you ever told me that before today? I know that Christy's annoyed with me, because I am showering Sophia with attention. But you know what? You quit. Sophia was there. Chloe is a product of you. She's been at your studio since well, then, she was two. She's lazy. Then why don't you say, do this? This is how you fix it. She I'm not a it. dance teacher. You tell me every day. Turn Chloe out. is your student. And you are a plagiarist, because that little girl is somebody else's student. You right, just put her name on her back. You're ridiculous. Chloe was awful today. I'm always the first to jump right back at Abby. You know, I believe in fighting fire with fire. But some of the things she said about Chloe were just so awful that it, it just hurt me. She reveled in doing that to an 11-year-old. And she did it. She did it to my yeah, baby. What are we doing to our kids? <laughs>